go ahead. Route 4, Thompson School Road, Carrington, Tennessee. Where in Tennessee? Carrington. I suppose you ain't never heard of that neither. What's the zip code? 379 21. Uh-huh. What's your phone number, sir? 687 4291. Okay. Now, could you mail us those boots? Well, I'll mail them when I get my damn new ones. I ain't going to just set them off in the mail there. I'll be sitting here with nothing. You know what I mean. Yeah, you got the only pair of shoes you've got? Well, it's, it was my best pair. I've got some old boots. I don't like to wear them all that much. Don't give me no damn run around or I'll be down there. And I'm not trying to give you a run I'll be as patient as I can be. Somebody's talking to me the way you are, sir. Well, goddamn, what do you expect? I'm not sure what to expect. Good brain. Well? It's highly, highly unusual just to pay a mail Of course, you haven't told me what kind of boots they are, what size or anything. Well, what's your name? My name's not important, sir. Yeah, I'd say that's right. Yes, for mine, seems like a son of a bitch asked me for Well, if I'm going to make a pair of boots, I need to know your name, don't I? Yeah. Okay. But you haven't told me the kind of boot it was or the size. Well, listen, if you're going to get smart about it, I'll come down there now and whoop your ass. It ain't nothing to me to whoop a man's ass. You might have heard of it. No, sir, I haven't heard of it. Well, you're going to, my guy. I have to whoop your ass. I know you. Well, I don't believe that's necessary at all. Well, it sounds to me happy. like I'm going to have to. I'll be happy to get a pair of shoes if you tell me what kind of man you are. Oh, man, the day. Damn boots has got them eagles on the side of them. Sir, I don't carry any boots that have eagles on the side of them. It's a Tom McCann. I know that. They've got some kind of little design. It ain't necessarily an eagle. It's wings. No, sir, I'm afraid not. I don't carry that kind of shoe. Well, goddamn. You are saying you don't have them? Yes, sir, that's correct. You down there in West Ham? That's correct. Down there in the mall? That's right, Tom McCann Shoe Store. Down there, what's you next to? Which stores is around? Uh, head over Shoe Store. Are they a Are they a radio store there? Yes, down? Sir. That's right. Hanover's has that booth that you're talking about. They do. Yes, sir. they sure do. Well, I'll whoop his damn ass. I believe that's where you I'll got it. They've got a booth just like that in the winter. Well, I'll tell you what. You take that name and all over and give it to them and have them to mail me some in a ten and a half. D wide. Ten and a half D? Yeah. All right, I'll sure do it. And have them call me, by God, if they ain't going to do it. I'll be happy to do it. And I'll whoop somebody's damn ass if they don't. Well, I'll sure get over there to them. And listen, if yeah. I find out you got them, I'll be down there to whoop your damn ass. Well, I don't have them. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for you if you don't. Yes. Well, well I've got some trust in this show, man, okay? Huh? I'll get this over there to them immediately. Well, okay, but I'll be out there to check. There's just... I'm a contractor out there. I've been on my time with West Knox, so I'll check and see if you got them. Okay. All right. I know the handover is, is where you got the shoe. Well, I can whoop their ass just the same as I'll, I can whoop yours. I'll get it over there, too, and I sure do it. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Brooke. Send the kids off to school, and here it is. Oh, yes, sure it is. This is the ambulance emergency line. Do you have an emergency? Yeah, I need a band for that. Who is this? Uh, Joe. Okay, Joe, where do you need us? I'm in my phone booth. Okay, what's the address there? Uh, hold on. Okay, sir, did you call through 911? Uh, no. Okay, Joe, I need a location. What street are you on? Uh, I'm in my phone booth at the stop and go. There you go. I'm in my phone booth. Let me tell you what, I'm, in, I'm going down the motherfucking road, driving my car, minding my own goddamn business, and a motherfucking deer jumping out and hit my car. Okay, sir, so are you injured? Now, now, let me tell you, I get out and pick the motherfucking deer up. I thought he's dead. I put the motherfucking deer in my back seat, and I'm driving down the motherfucking road and minding my own business. The motherfucker woke up and bit me in the back of my goddamn neck and he bit me and then kicked the shit out of my car. 
I'm in the motherfucking phone booth. The deer bit me in the neck. A big motherfucking dog came up and bit me in the leg. I hit him with the motherfucking tire iron and I stabbed him. I stabbed him with my knife. So I got a hurt leg and the motherfucking deer bit me in the neck. And the deer and the dog won't let me out of the motherfucking phone booth because he wants the deer. Okay, sir, are you injured? Yeah, my motherfucking deer bit me in the neck. Hold on. The motherfucking dog is biting me. Hold on. God damn, get out of here. Mother, hold on. The motherfucking dog is biting my ass. Could you tell us your name, please? My name is Curtis Singh Lawley. Okay. And where do you live, Miss Lawley? I live at Route 2, Box 140, Edwards. Okay. And is that in Hines County, Mississippi? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, would you tell us what you do for a living? What is your profession or occupation? I'm a licensed practical nurse at Heinz General Hospital. All right, and how long have you held that position? For 16 years. Okay. Now, were you living in the same place that you reside now back in the early part of February of this year? Yes. That would be February of 1990. Right. Okay. Specifically, on February 2nd and 3rd of 1990, were you living in the same place? Yes, I was. Yeah. Is that a house or an apartment? A yeah. house. Okay. And who owns that house? I do. Okay. Who all was living with you in that house as of February the 2nd? My aunt. And who is that? Her name is Lillian Jackson. Okay. How old is she? 76. Okay. What, if any, type of disability does she have? She's a diabetic, and she's totally deaf. Okay. Now, I want to take you to the evening hours of late February the 2nd of 1990. Would you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury whether you were at home that night or not? On February 2nd or yeah. February 3rd, the night the incident happened. All right, well, let's take February the 3rd. Were you home that night? Yes, I was. Okay. And what time did you go to bed that night? At 11.15. All right. 11.15 p.m. or 8? P.m. P.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, would that be 11.15 p.m. on the 2nd or 3rd? Or uh, on the 3rd. All right. And you said when the incident happened, would that have been after or before midnight? It was after midnight. So are you saying the incident would have happened the 4th or the 3rd? It would have happened on the 4th then because it was before day that morning. All right. What day of the week was it that uh, that the incident happened that you 